firstly, given all the rumours about yourself at the minute, Anthony, do you want to give us an update on where you're at and your commitment to the Vikings at the moment? Uh, yep, so all the rumours and um, all, the, all the stuff that's been going on. Um, it was just a couple of basic basic visa things, which I kind of made clear on uh, social media, just to, just to clarify, you know, for people that were wondering why I wasn't training in pre-season and stuff. But that's all sorted now, so that's all boxed off. Um, you know, hopefully have the visas for my family come uh, early January. So, um, yeah, I've got, a, I've got a couple days training here, then I'm going to head back um, just for wait for baby to be born, and then, um, yeah, we're back here cracking on. And so, to sum all of that up, you're fully committed to winning the Vikings in 2019 then? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Let's go. And so with that, with that commitment, you've mentioned you've been with the boys for a couple of days. I mean, how does that mean getting in to meet all the lads and, and getting into pre-season with them? Yeah, it's been good, man. You know, it was, it was, I didn't know what to expect fully. You know, that was, that was part of the hesitation as well was, um, you know, people are saying, oh, are you going to, you know, once they got relegated, are you going to commit now? You know, is that you committed? And I'm thinking... I don't even know what I'm committing to, you know, there's people leaving, people coming, people going, I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, part of that too is a bit of an ego thing, you know, like, you know, I worked hard in Super League, worked hard in NRL, like, do I want to play championship? You know, and a few people say to me, like, oh, mate, you know, you shouldn't be down here, you're too good for championship, but I tell them, mate, I'm too good for Super League, what's your point, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, this morning, just, we saw you... Pull the lads in for a bit of a message, and obviously we've got a young group here. Yeah, is that a bit of a leadership role you wanted to take on here next year? Yeah, yeah, that comes natural. You know, I'm I'm no spring chicken anymore. You know, 28 years old now, 29 next year. So, um, yeah, I think uh, it is a young squad, so they're going to look to, at, for someone to to speak up. So, yeah, it, do, it doesn't feel right. You know, sitting back and you know you see something that needs fixing. So for me this morning, you know, um, a lot of we was training out in the mud. You know, um, out in the field down the road, and a couple of the boys keep going, oh, you know, this field's this and that, you know. Um, and I just said, listen, you got to get used to it because playing championship, this is where we're going to be all year. So stop whinging and let's just get on with it, eh? And obviously, with your commitment, along with Chris Hinnu over the weekend, there's, there's also some experience within the group. And do you think that's going to be vital for us next year to achieve what we want to? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, you always need um, a bit of experience. You know, you you got those young guys that are enthusiastic and they're going to, you know, bring the energy, we hope. Um, you know, you need the experienced guys to kind of show, show the way, I guess. Yeah, a bit of a cliche kind of thing, yeah. Obviously, a new coach as well for the club and a new coach for you. I mean, I know you've probably had some briefing camps with him, but what do you mm. make of Kieran and what he wants to do next year? Yeah, he's good, mate. You know, I'm still, you know, it's only my first proper day pre-season, but... Um, you know, new coach, I think it was a new trainer, um, you know, a couple of new boys, uh, new field. I don't know if you can see it down here, but, you know, it's like a carpet down there. I don't think we're allowed to train on it yet because um, I think they want to keep it looking sexy for round one, so, yeah. And lastly, you've been here as a visiting player, you've been here, seen how passionate our fans are. Mm. How much do we need them on board with us next year and get them behind us? Oh, 100%, man, you know, it's, it's, uh, this could be a real special season, you know, for us to go from, you know, getting kicked kicked in the mouth last year to uh, you know promoted back to Super League um, you know I'm excited you know it's going to be a lot of fun uh, you know start, start winning games you know one game five games ten games in a row build that momentum it's, it's, a, it's a different place you know it's a real fun environment um, you know this is this is where I made my debut out here on this ground and I know what what the crowds what it's capable of so um, yeah I'm looking forward to next year you know, just getting everybody on board and yeah having fun